from Arrow and Kangaroo Sewing Cabinets. But today we're going to help you with some troubleshooting on your inner lifts. If you find that your inner lift is stuck, there are a few things that we want you to consider before you give us a call. On our Arrow line, our Norma Jean and our Bertha cabinets are made for really heavy duty machines, 45 to 50 pounds. And on our Kangaroo line, our Aussie and Kangaroo are rated for the same weight of sewing machine. So oftentimes, if you think you're you know, lift is stuck, it's often because you're just not putting enough downward force to get the lift to work. So when you go down, you really got to push to get it to go up. We also do find that the weight of your machine really helps with that pressure. So put your heavy machine onto that platform and, you know, press down with the machine and that should help. If after you've done this with all the muscle that you can, you know, muster and you're still having problems, we do have a few other tips. So at Arrow and Kangaroo, we use two different types of lifts. On our Arrow lifts, we use our horizontal lift, which is centered right in the middle of the cabinet. And on the Kangaroo lifts, we use a rail system. So there's two rails and the lift, as you'll notice in this Kangaroo unit. So if the Arrow one, if you're still having problems after pushing down, you'll notice on the lift there are three black boxes with little glides. And this little pin slides in and out, and that's the different three positions on the mechanism. So storage, flatbed, and free arm. So oftentimes, if you can move from one position to the other but can't get out of it, that tells us which box may be damaged. So take a look at your black boxes and make sure they're all aligned, that none are crooked or askew. If they are, loosen the two bolts and straighten it out because obviously the pin won't be able to flow correctly in and out if it's messed up. The other thing is just to see if it's cracked. If you know during shipment something has happened and it's been cracked, that could be the problem and we can easily send you a new black box. The other thing is when it's in the position that it's stuck in, there's this pin, spring-loaded pin. If you can pull this straight up, it will reset it. Oftentimes this is difficult to do with your fingers, so we do recommend getting a towel and wrapping it around the pin and grabbing some pliers, putting it around here and pulling straight up. And again, that should reset it and allow you to move in and out of those grooves. The other thing that we find is WDD, WD-40 is your friend. You know, often lots of places are very hot or cold and so it's very dry. So you want to lubricate all three black boxes as well as the ball bearings on um, the lift. And I would do this, you know, once every three months just to keep the lift very lubricated. After doing all these things, if it still doesn't work, give us a call and we can send out a replacement lift. On the kangaroo line, again with the WD-40, places that you're going to want to lubricate are going to be these white glides, this particular um, ball here, and then we also take our red, spray WD-40 on it and wipe down the rails because they slide, the glide slide up and down these, and this often helps we find to get the mechanism to work well. Another place the WD-40 works well is on the cylinder. I mean, quite frankly, anywhere that you're going to place the WD-40 is just going to help this to move up and down more smoothly. We do caution you, if you spray the WD-40 on any of the wood surfaces, make sure you wipe it off right away because it will leave an oily stain on the wood, and you don't want that. So the other thing that you want to look at on the kangaroo side is essentially you know, the orientation when it comes, it's going to have this wood block in it, leave that in there. You'll follow through the manual and it'll show you how it presses down and pops out. But you know, during transit sometimes, you know, FedEx and UPS are hard on our boxes, so oftentimes you may get a lift that looks like this, where it's kind of been popped out and askew. If that's the case, stop doing what you're doing in the manuals in regards to assembling the lift. Just move on and fully assemble the cabinet and then go to our website www.kangaroocabinets.com and go to the video that's called alternate um, airlift and it's going to show you how to assemble it when your wood block is completely out or if like this one it's just really messed up. Another thing to look at you know uh, is just the orientation of things. So you want to make sure that you do have four glides that they're in there, um, that your cables look like this. You know, that they are on this one particular cable is closest to the front, and the other ones are going to be on the back. You know, if any of these are off, that might explain why it's not moving. And another important place to look is this little spring. If that spring has popped off during transit and is inside the box, you definitely want to put that back on. And we can send you a more detailed picture of how to put it on and where it goes, but that will stop your lift from working. So again, try these things with pressing down, lubricating your lift, and making sure that all the parts are working before you give us a call.